Today, we're doing another haul. Hot style! Listen, when I decided to do a haul from Hot Topic, I decided to go all in because that is who I am. And honestly, I just love a good theme. And I used to dress a lot like this. I had my little goth slash punk moment. So I know, I know what's cool. No, I don't. I, I don't know what's cool at all. But I pretend like I know what's cool. So I just want, I wanted to, I wanted to, you know, it's Halloween's coming. I wanted to give it a moment. And plus, this haul is very weird for me because it is all black. I don't think I've ever done a plus size haul that was all black clothing. But in this plus size haul, you're getting it. You're getting it all. I'm gonna try it on. I'm gonna live my goth girl fantasy. So with that, let's just get into it. So our first sweater is from a brand called Cosmic Aura, which I feel is just like a really appropriate name for something sold at Hot Topic. And I love it because of all the little details, this Victorian lace inspired collar and these little embroidered bats. It's a bat, it's like a cardigan, but it's also giving you Wednesday from Adam's Family vibes, which I very much appreciated. She is cute, she is girly, but she is also friends with the devil or friends with like the dark forces whatever, you know, holiday hoopla you will enjoy. So fun fact, I don't actually own a black skirt. Uh, I don't own a blood red skirt. I own a green skirt, so that's where we are. Um, I like this cardigan. One thing I noticed is the lace is not sewn down, so it does tend to pop up, which bothers me. I also, as we've talked about in the past, have some sensitivities allergy-wise, and this is a little itchy around the neck for me, so personally, it's not something I'm gonna keep, but it is really cute. Every girl needs a black dress in her wardrobe, just a black t-shirt dress. But if you're a goth girl, you need this one. Look at that embroidery. I don't exactly know what it's of. It looks like a giant moth and some moons. I'm sure that means something and I hope I'm not insulting anybody by not knowing because I, I legit don't know what this symbolizes. Would like to learn actually, but I just thought it was pretty. I thought it was really pretty. In fact, I find a lot of Gothic design really pretty. It actually elevates Victorian art, which I think people don't talk about enough. I think it gets viewed as dark and heavy, but like some Goth design is, is light and beautiful in a way, like this. Guess what I'm gonna say about this dress? If you, if you didn't guess correctly, it's that it's too short. It's sad because this is really cool and it doesn't itch at all. It like feels, like it's not even there. It actually feels like a kind of a brush of breath of fresh air on my back, which, you know, in Austin is helpful. Would it be a haul for me doing goth if I didn't have a velvet slip dress? Oh, this is giving me all of the craft vibes. If you are like, what's the craft? Please go watch the movie. It will change your life. Not really, but it's good. It's a great Halloween movie. It's a cool slip dress with some lace details here at the bust line. But most importantly, it's got this cross to ward off evil spirits and a velvet bow. I liked this because this was a midi length. I often find velvet dresses, they're just too short. So this one's gonna work perfect for me. Okay, this one I would wear, I would keep. I do feel like it's a little bit big, uh, especially in the chest region. I will also say I'm not a fan of this thing. I thought it'd be cute, but now it just kind of feels cheesy. So if I did keep it, I would take this off. But honestly, because it is a little bit big in the chest and because it's like literally, <coughs> I'm okay, but I literally almost died on camera. So there you go. Now I'm wheezing. This dress is trying to kill me. So in short, I should not keep it. I needed a skirt all, right? And I like about this one is again, it's longer. It's got some fun pocket details in the front and our little like, I don't know what the, what is this closure even called? I should learn. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I don't know what I'm even saying anymore. Hello, help me, I'm, I'm old. But I thought this was just like cute for like layering over things. Honestly, it's not terribly goth. It's just kind of cool and cute and something that anyone could use in their wardrobe, but it is black and that's why it made this haul. Little nervous it may not work for my hips, so we'll have to try it out and see. But yeah, I think it's super cute. This does not fit right. Um, in concept, love the piece. It is very tight across my chest, which means anyone with a large chest, <laughs> unlike mine, this is not gonna work for. It then is tight to the hips and flares out like right, I just, oof, right here. I, oh, I, I don't like it. And these packets sticking out, it's, oh, it's the most normy thing and it's also the thing I hate the most. Pass. 
I saw this dress and I just flipped out for the print. So first of all, it is adjustable for all those ladies who are worried about being a little bit taller or having a longer line from here, you can adjust it. But the print is really where this is at. It's like pink blood on knives. So from far away, it just looks like a fun novelty print, but when you get close, it's a murder weapon. And I feel like how better to live the Halloween season than with a, with a murder knife dress? <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know if I'd buy this normally, but it felt important to include in this haul. I'm gonna drop in my new single this Friday. It's called, Why Is Everything So Short? No, seriously, I'm not gonna complain about it anymore. I, I like this. It's a very soft fabric. I would say if you are not 5'10", it would be a great option for you. So this is a black and white striped dress. This would actually really be good for like Disney bounding Haunted Mansion kind of style. Uh, here's what I will say. I'm struggling to talk about these pieces because I just don't wear dark pieces very often. So it's like unusual to me, but I do love the length and cut of this. I don't know, like I've noticed that a lot of these have these colors and bows. I find like these things choke me. So I'm hoping that some of them I can remove because it's just not my vibe. Um, and if I'm gonna wear them, I probably would not wear them with this thing, this thing. Why do we have it? Why do we need it? We don't. I guess maybe if you're goth, you have to wear a necktie at all times or some chains. So I like this. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. It's not as like claustrophobic as I thought it would feel. It doesn't feel like it's choking me, but it does feel like excessive. Uh, I will say I want another inch on this, but this is like me in every dress I've ever worn from anywhere. I just am always a little bit too tall. I'm about 5'10ish. And apparently that's the height when everything's too short on you. That's when it happens. So yay. I don't wanna hear any negative commentary about this sweater. Look at it. It's a skeleton. The only thing that would make this better is if there was like a heart. Actually, no, I don't think it needs a heart. I feel like that would be too cutesy and then it would just be like a normal heart. And then if you made like a real heart, it would look weird. So I feel like this, this, this is perfect. Don't change, you're great. This is by a brand, I'm just reading these because sometimes they're funny. This one is called Social Collision, which is how I feel every time I go to an event. It's just a collision of, of social that I, I'm just not so good at. There you go, a sweater. Low key, I thought I was gonna be more hype about this when I tried it on than I am. It's kind of lackluster on. Maybe it looked cooler like opened over a pair of pants. I don't know, I just, I'm not feeling it. And it's weird because when I first saw it, I was like, damn, I'm gonna love this. I'm gonna wear it all Halloween. And now I'm like, eh, it's all right. It's not, it's not amazing. I saw this dress and I was like, okay, okay. Uh, what's, it, what's her name? Florence and the Machine. My boy builds coffins. Cause this is literally a coffin print tool dress. Like these are, these things I'm looking through are tiny glitter coffins. They're made out of glitter. So I guess this is the closest to like, goth me as anything could be because it's got that like fun shape it's got glitter it's got a pun right a glitter coffin feels like a visual pun for halloween but yeah i'm probably I feel like this is pretty on brand for me but black i don't usually do black okay i did not expect to love this as much as i do it's so cute i will say the like um sparkles are a little itchy but i feel like i could deal with it it's not like super bad and i'm pretty sensitive to that type of stuff so it's doable um i, I love it <laughs> i'm like having a moment i'm having a moment in this dress i mean <sighs> i'm affectionately calling this piece the dead poet society blouse because it's got skulls and crows on it and written words. And it feels like it's like throwing back to like Edgar Allan Poe vibes, the raven and the skull. Actually, that's probably exactly what it is. I bet you can, let me see. Oh my gosh, it's <laughs> it's literally got script from, Anna, um, from Annabelle Lee, or I think it's called the raven, whatever that poem is about the raven and Annabelle Lee is actually pieces of that poem on the shirt. So it is actually an Edgar Allan Poe shirt. So if you're a literary person, this actually might be great for you. This one's a no, this one's a no. And I'll tell you why, like my arms, just too massive. Oh, the sleeves feel like a little tight. Like I'm gonna uh, Hulk smash them. So uh, uh, also like everything feels just like a, like a size too small. And this, this has got some strong choke action. No me gusta, I don't, I don't like it, I wanna take it off. I wanna take it off. This is my favorite piece in this haul. And this piece, I hope looks amazing on me because I will keep it and wear it because I just think it's so cool. 
This is an elastic harness skirt. And just think of all the fun things I could wear underneath this and how comfortable it's gonna be because the harness is stretchy. I'm worried about it being just a, like a wee bit too short, but leggings, leggings exist, tights exist, bike shorts exist. I mean, who cares? I just think it's super cool. Uh, and this is where I'm like, people sleep on Hot Topic. Cause I'm like, this is banging for like any style. Okay, I love the way this harness part looks. I think it is so cute. I do wish the skirt was like a little bit longer. And I'm honestly thinking about keeping it and maybe adding some type of like tool or something at the bottom just to give it like two inches longer. If you're short, please buy this. I think this is so cute. And I love the way it frames my body. Obsessed, obsessed. What does this give you? Because for me, it's a very clear picture of what it is. It is definitely Gwen Stefani, like early, no doubt. It's got these, which I'm guessing you could wear up or down. And it's like, sorry, I'm not home right now. I'm dancing in a spider web. And like, I feel, I kind of love them. I know they're like a little ridiculous, but like, I think they're ridiculous in such a magical way. And I'm actually gonna try to wear these because I think, I just think they're cool. Maybe I'm just regressing to my old self. Hot Topic, what did I do to you? What did I do to you to make you think that this sweet ass pant should be low rise as hell? I don't wanna show people my ass crack. I don't. I don't wanna worry about my pants just falling down. I don't wanna have a whale tail. I don't want any of it. And if there is a plus size girl out there who wants it, she is the minority and she must be stopped because this shenanigans, no. So thank you so much for watching our Gothel. And <laughs> I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. If you guys enjoyed this themed haul, let me know and I'll do more like it in the future. They don't always have to be from the same store. It's just Hot Topic it has a general demo it serves. But yeah, I loved it. I love playing dress up. It's like my favorite thing in the world. So please say yes. <laughs> With that, remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I'll check you later and peace. Ghost style. <laughs> Let me do it again. I titty shaked and it was not, didn't make any sense. Why are you doing this to us? Jen, whatever letter you are. We finally got rid of them and you want to bring them back? Let us live in our high-waisted peace. They even tricked me because they're skinny leg and I've learned to assume that if it's skinny leg, it's for people who were born before 2000. But it was a trick. It was a trick.